Uh, defense nine, damage to all five. No. Right now, I feel like I need to take the Chrono Crystals out of my deck. I don't feel like they're doing anything. I don't think I have any beneficial things that operate on a daily basis. Thank you. Uh, dominant mass. Damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Which is 14, so that'd be like 3 damage. Somersault, 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. Evasion's 19%. Article of Protection. After receiving this trait, and at the start of every loop, the hero receives 65% of his max HP as a phantom shield that persists between battles. Damage to the phantom shield ignores defense. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. That sounds nice. And we're recovering health while that shield's up. Um, but the, but the, but the, but the, four to twelve, twelve evasion, fifteen with ten vampirism. I'll take that. Still don't know how armor works in this game, or de defense works in this game. I'm not sure, like, what formula it uses. Oh my god, it took so much damage during this. My article shield is gone. Four twenty-six. No. Twenty-two to thirty-four. Yes. Wheat fields. Mountain, rock, meadow. Is there a max number of cards you can have in your hand, or do they just scroll off to the side? Oldest gets destroyed. Can I rearrange them? Hmm. You cannot. Well, if I can't rearrange them anyway... Wait. Why did it nuke the meadow? I don't understand why that happened. Meadows need an adjacent other thing to bloom. Oh, did it go back to being a normal? Oh, it went back to being a normal one. I thought it was completely destroyed. Okay, 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 that makes sense. Okay. Do all weapons have the same attack speed? Oh god, the- oh, uh, shoot. Okay, this is gonna be dumb. I'm doing this just so the boss does- <laughs> Super time warp! I'm doing this so the boss doesn't have a palace. Attack speed is an attribute. Right, but I was wondering if like a dagger hits fast, like a dirk hits faster than a sword. That's what I meant. Okay. Oh. 
23 to... 23 to 35. That's a lot more damage. The sound effect that it made fighting those reminded me of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail when the guy is running and he's using the coconuts to make like the galloping noise of a horse <laughs> even though he doesn't have a horse. <laughs> God, the blood clots. Ah! That's a lot of loot. Okay, hang on. What was that sound effect? 14 is 20. No. Damage shots has to be. No. No. Oh, I can't just throw this up here to fill that in either. Boo. That sound was an orb. Oh. Gotcha. Uh... Alright, out of curiosity. So there's a guy there with a quest. Quest failed! You get quests failed! If you nuke it from orbit. Huh. I mean, I feel like that's a quest successful. He doesn't exist anymore, right? <laughs> What's the problem? Defense is fully effective against bit hits. Times two defense or more, but tapers off as the hit approaches one. You always take a minimum of one damage unless evaded. Trait. Oh, thanks. Card sharp. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for golden cards. It's a golden card. Okay, I guess I don't, I guess I haven't seen a golden card yet. Battering Ram. The hero rushes into battle head on and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Blade of Dawn. Every morning the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to do times two damage to all. Uh, Battering Ram? All right, I'm assuming I just got my gray shield back, right? Like, I, I'm getting a heal. So if I go into the boss fight with the gray shield, I'm feeling pretty comfy. That's my logic. I hope I'm right. How is it possible? That's right. You didn't devote... Wait, this conversation. I remember it. I killed you before. What the hell is happening? Killed? Me? It's... I see. So that's how it is. I'm just his after image, not the original. You have no idea what you've done. So how many more times do I have to do this world a favor by slicing you in half? I don't think you're able to comprehend this. I'm a part of the self-defense mechanism, one of the multitude of copies sent to other realities at the moment of death. My destruction cannot be undone, but in an endless series of attempts, different outcomes are possible. I defeated you once and I can do it again. It's funny that he fights by going, eh, eh, eh. I could change nothing, but your victory won't change anything either. Eternity will grind you into dust, and I'm just a small gear in that process now. If killing you makes me stronger, I won't need an eternity. Now be gone. Choose and a reward. What? Uh, 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top. Okay, again, is this just for this run? Grants a hero plus one resurrection with full healing. Holy crap! 
Each day is faster. 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. These are new traits for all future runs. Oh my god, resurrection. There are traits you can sometimes choose when you level. Oh god dang it. I was thinking I just got it and that was it. Alright. Um, four wood. Alright, retreat. Hopefully that's enough to build something. I'm itching to see the new stuff. Okay, I can make a refuge or a cemetery. So you guys said the crypt and the refuge unlock the other classes. But I only have enough wood for one of them. What crypt is ba wait, what? Uh refuge unlocks rogue. Cemetery. Passing through a cemetery tile during an expedition will grant you a memory fragment. Can resurrect the hero if you upgrade it. Crypt? Wait, everybody's yelling crypt. Really? Okay. Thank you. Whoa, my god. Oh, it's Chip. This place is nice. Calm. There are people here, but they are quiet. They look grim, but they can tell you much, if you can listen. Uh, creepy. Alright. So, Crypt needs rocks. I need a bunch of rocks. Hmm. Unlocks the Ancestral Crypt Golden Card if the Intel Center is built. Um, okay, how do I mess with my, let's see, Expedition. And I need to mess with my deck. Get rid of Chrono Crystals, put the Vampire Mansion back in. You guys said there was some interaction between vampires and villages. Alright. Confirm. Start. Oh. One of the town tiles can be upgraded? What the heck? I mean, two of them look like they can be, or three of them. No, wait, no, this one. Resources needed, 8% check campfire's healing power. Oh, no, 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 I need, I need to save that. I need to save that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, expedition. So, the other uh, equipment slots, are those opened by the just by the other classes, or are they unlocked for all classes when you do something else? some by the smithy uh for example necro doesn't some are for other classes and each class i think unlocks one new thing mm. window goop says yes treasury next to the vampire mansion. See what happens. Let's see rock. Uh, let's see four to six. Take that. Don't use that. Say battlefield thingy, vampire mansion. There's 
for something there. Nervous. Pause for a sec. Uh, weapon upgrade. Ring upgrade. Um, ring upgrade. Oh my god, what ghoul? So what, the, the vampire made like the villagers into ghouls or something? Ow. Ransacked village. Tran some transforms into something useful after three loops. Okay. Okay, wheat fields, meadow to the treasury, uh, beacon to speed us up. Rock and eh, fence the mountain first. Cemetery right in front of us to make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, meadow right there. Uh, village right in front of us. Shield upgrade. Don't need that stuff. Okay, mountains. Our max health right now is 433. Now it's 468. The vampire did say he was hungry when you first met him. Yeah, but those are totally different vampires. Armor upgrades. Meadow there. Beacon. Here, spider cocoon. Again, trying to fill the slots around the starter thing. Oh, boy. I can't even tell which one he's hitting. That one, he's hitting that one. Oh, we had a quest combined with this. Oh, my. Uh, let's see, 10 to 14, 14, 22, that one. The rock there. Rock there. Get your perk. Thank you. I wish that was more noticeable. I keep missing it. Get a new choice of three traits. Doesn't cost a trade point. Uh, I'm guessing since it moved over there, like, I'll never have that pop up again. The hero deals plus damage for every potion used since this trait was taken. Every counter heals the hero for blah, blah. Deals you a full hand of Oblivion cards. From now on, using Oblivion cards heals the hero by 10%. Yeah. Um, I'll get this and then try to get some counter. I don't have any counter right now. Defense, attack speed. Shield upgrade. Why well, are you smart enough to hit the treasure chest last at least? <laughs> Mountain. Um, slightly less armor, but it has 11% vampirism on it. What's the deal with Mimic? So those just sometimes, I guess the battlefield can spit out a treasure chest or a Mimic, I'm guessing? Or is there some other factor in play? That's an upgrade. Spider Cocoon. I've got one more tile I need to fill for that other thing. Uh, I'll just put it kind of out of the way over here. The increased damage after each potion sounded good. Yeah, but it's completely possible to make a loop where you don't use any potions. So then it's just like, oh wow, that was kind of a waste. Uh, shield, pure damage, defense. No vampirism, but double armor. Hmm. Hmm. Rock. Is a 
this regen, evasion, has counter also, and counter is a heal now. The mix are just random. I'm not sure I've seen them outside the battlefield tiles. 16 to 24. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, mountain there. Uh, yeah, we should all counter eight. But we lose eight evasion. Thanks for saying. I decline. I think this is the third loop and the, the vampire village is supposed to be useful after this. We'll find out what. Uh, good shield. Use the evasion for some regen. Let's see, beacon there. Nice, that fills on uh, it fills in those tiles. Finish the treasury. Which gives us a whole bunch of random stuff. Um uh, don't think I need any of that. Alright, meadow. Right there. Wheat fields, can't do anything without at the moment. A ransacked village hasn't changed yet. Ding. Oh, thank you. Supplies. Hero leaves 10% of his findings in the camp when passing through the campfire tile. That's kind of cool. It doesn't, well, it doesn't increase our chance of a, uh, like, successful run, but it's, like, insurance. Um, I think I'd rather get Surveyor and get healing every time I move. Oh my god. The dodgers, so many dodgers. A lot of healing. Uh, okay. Mountain, lots of wheat fields. Grove, we'll just throw that right in front of us. We need more sticks. Sticks and rocks. Village ding. Counts lands. Heals 140 HP upon entering, gives you a quest with a better reward. With a better reward. Those uh, heals from the counters are doing pretty good right now. Oh my god, these things are really high evasion. All right, cemetery right in front of us to make sure we don't miss any stone. Uh, wait. Is, oh, we already had a village there. I'm so dumb. Oh, I had a... Potion. Uh, let's see. Defense, evasion. Attack speed. Counter seems to be better than vampirism right now just because of that trait we got. I should make more villages, so we're gonna find out.
This guy's taking so long. Ah! Uh, I could nuke something. Destroy the bandit camp. Taking some damage right now. One potion remaining for this one. Um, max HP, vampirism. Okay, that's an upgrade. No counter. All right, rock there, meadow there, wheat field. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're right there. Alright, so we field connected that one, because we're about to walk into it. Vampires and scarecrows. What the heck? Last potion use. Uh, defense 3 attack speed. Nope, that doesn't really help. <laughs> I am a little concerned. Okay, lots of gear to look through. <sighs> 18 to 28, no vampirism though. 22 to 34. No vampirism, but much higher damage. Okay, got most of our health back, got two potions back. Uh God, I admit it's kinda tempting to leave. <laughs> it's kinda tempting to leave. Getting a bit spicy. No shame in retreat. I don't retreat. I advance in the other direction. <laughs> Ah, oh, I need seven more rods. God dang, the farming! Ugh! I just want to try one of the other classes. How much would it set me back to- you know what, I'm gonna build the refuge now. I know it's gonna set me back a little, but I wanna- I wanna- I gotta see something else. Um... There's a very limited number of places I can put this thing. There are exiles, even an exile hero. Don't go too hard on the lost souls who found uh, respite in wine and gambling. Why don't you take a seat and pick yourself a poison to drink? But I'm not here for the... That's strange. This place, in this life. It all feels so familiar. Now we're talking. So you found a living on the road. A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for some unlucky souls? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills. And somehow I literally have two aces in my sleeve now. And this coin purse. I think I stole it too. <laughs> Ha! Wait, that's my purse. You don't believe me? Oh well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Alright. Uh, so we used up all our wood. And we also still- we, we needed stone before, but now we still need more stone. Alright. Alright, how does this work? Uh, collects trophies by killing enemies in combat and exchanges them for items at the campfire. Starts with 5% vampirism, plus 10% to stat bonuses of the same type that come from two or more equipment items. The effects stacks. Uh, additional class stats, pure damage, attack speed, damage to all, counter, evasion, defense. Like, no regen. Oh wait, he's got a boot slot, no shield, two weapons, no ring. No ring? Are you out of fingers? What the heck? Uh, okay, okay. 